Very good evening to Anna and all present here. Okay. So before we start, there are a few announcements on the half of Bangalore branch, the programs which are conducting in the next uh, one month. So the first one is, is tomorrow's uh, program which is happening at Tungur. It's a half day uh, seminar on income tax aspects relating to cooperative societies. So kindly do, do get registered for this. And there is one more happening at Golden Palms Hotel. Uh, which is off in Kuroda again. It's a residential program happening on international tax, uh, taxation. The registrations are open for that. You can get it registered. Apart from this, our mega event of the year, the annual uh, conference which happens, is happening on June 7th and 8th. So kind of, the registrations are open. The counter is all, 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 always open in all the seminars. You can inquire and get a, a note for the scene. And also encourage your fellow travel partners to get into this mega event. Now, let's start today's program, Mantana, Half Day Seminar on Quality Issues and Quality Indicators. The Bangalore branch warmly welcomes each one of you to today's Half Day Seminar. I request C. Shidambar, the chairman, to escort the chief guest, Jagan Mohan, sir, and uh, Abdul Banji, sir, on the days. And welcome to the floor, Logi. Please give a great round of applause for the speaker and the chief guest. Thank you. 
when it comes to the audit related quality indicators to know more about this Abdul Majid is the right person to address all this matter therefore um, uh, I, I request each one of you to make use of the today's uh, uh, seminar I am sure it is going to be really helpful for all of us and uh, going forward a lot of other programs are uh, already scheduled and our website and the mobile app are available for 24 or 7 uh, registration purposes can you make use of the same and our counter at the reception is open from morning 8 am to till 9 pm in the night for the purpose of new admissions and enquiries for the CA course and also for the coaching classes of the institute can we make use of this uh, uh, you know uh, spread the news among the uh, new joinees and the article trainees uh, with you so that they can also make use of the facility Website, uh, I don't know if all of you are watching, a lot of additional features are added into the website and uh, one of the very important uh, feature added is the missing opportunity column when you go to the program registration, event registration column. The moment the hall is full, we stop the registration, but immediately after the registration is stopped, you get one more opportunity, say a column says that, okay, I missed this opportunity. If you submit that, it helps us to see okay how many people have missed this opportunity. If there is a time available for us from the day this missed opportunity is information is available up to the actual event date, we can schedule and shift to the venue to the bigger facility. The previous uh, we some of program on the GST happened like that only. We originally scheduled here with about 260 seating capacity. Then we ended up in shifting this a venue to a KCCI building with 330 seating capacity. This happened because many people, more than 130 people, submitted saying that I missed this opportunity. After shifting there with 330 seating capacity, another 88 people submitted the saying that I missed this opportunity. This was about two hours before the session. Therefore, we could not shift the venue from that to the other session. What we request members is kindly try to register any programs that you are interested in immediately the moment it is opened up. If it is filled, immediately submit that you have missed this opportunity or there is interested so that we will be able to select the right venue of the right side in the right location and ensure that you know you are getting benefited. There are cases where we end up in rescheduling the programs or conducting and repeating the similar sessions. This has been really helpful but the uh, important thing is you need to make one extra effort of submitting that yes, I am mean, interested but missing this opportunity. Friends, apart from that, there are a lot of other features added into the website, including the grievance cell and also the insurance products. In every program, I always request our members, please take insurance for the article trainings. They are always on the road. They stay in uh, PG somewhere. You don't know the source of their food. Other than my concern is please ensure that they are insured. And uh, a lot of other insurance products are available. Today, because of the audit quality matter, there are many cases where chartered accountants are being targeted. Professional indemnity insurance is a must in order to do an attest function today. Therefore, uh, products are available on our website. And definitely it is cheaper than what is available in the market because this is a tie-up with the ICIHO with the insurance company for the entire CA fraternity. Definitely it is going to be helpful kindly and so that you are covered under the professional indemnity insurance. A lot of other insurance products are there. It's up to your choice to uh, make use of it. But my sincere request from the institute is to ensure that you are the professional indemnity insurance. So with these words, uh, I would like to uh, welcome each one of you once again for this session. Thank you very much. Presenting, presenting to you a brief introduction of today's chief guest, Dr. P. S. Jagan Mohan Rao, MCOM, LLP, FCS, FCMA, PhD, Master of Communication and Journalism, MA Astrology and MA Sanskrit. He is a president of SAFA, South, uh, South Asian Federation of Accountants, and is a central council member of Indian Institute of Cost, Cost Accounts of India, and is a member of In International Federation of Accountants. He has been National President of Institute of Family Securities of India and a Nas uh, National Public Accounts Body under the Act of Power in Parliament. He has obtained his PhD on the subject of capital markets from the School of Managing Science, GNTU Hyderabad. He has been a member of National, National Advisory Committee on Accounting Standards, Government of India. 
He has held positions of Director, Finance, Vice President, Company Secretary, Independent Director and Chairman Audit Committee. He has worked with National Director with Nandi Foundation, a premier NGO. NGO. He has addressed in, at the Indian School of Business. He has addressed the uh, Institute of Chartered Accounts of India, Institute of uh, Company Secretaries and Institute of Cost Accountants of India. He has published more than 200 articles in various magazines. Apart from that, he has been a great contributor for encouraging green initiatives. He has addressed and published articles on environment, global warming, sustainable development and he has taken up a number of green, uh, green bicycle events and green walks spreading awareness of, on environment, and global warming and sustainable development at several places. With this brief introduction of our today's uh, chief guest, I request uh, chief guest, <laughs> cha chairman and the uh, speaker to light the lamp and make it an auspicious beginning. Chairman of Panel Branch of 
Institute of Chartered Accountants of India, CA, Shivaram Shankar Pat, whom I just called after I came to know for some other meeting here, and just said, I told him I am coming to Bangalore. I have an opportunity to address our students and members as President Sahib. He has immediately said, you have an opportunity. And he has invited me, I have accepted and I am here. Thank you, sir. That makes a child accountant a child accountant. A quick decision, timely decision. Sahib President coming here, definitely it is an event to the testament. Because Sahib is an apex body of SAR, South Asian Regional Cooperation. And we have eight countries in SAFA starting from Afghanistan, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Maldives, Pakistan, and India. And there in SAFA we have, for those who are not yet to know about the SAFA, SAFA is a professional body, a federation of all the professional accountants bodies in the SAP region, the child accountants and cost and management accountants, and 10 bodies we have. And we have 10 presidents, members there, and have, it has vice president and president for one year. This year it has come to India and to our institute and the casting institute and every president of the institute. And to that extent, obviously all of your partners and indirectly you are responsible for making me the president. So my thanks to all of you. And um, we, we have, and, and for that, by being that, I mean thank chairman for inviting me here. We have a very distinguished speaker who is going to speak now after I can conclude my small talk, Mr. C.A. Abdul Mazid Sheikh Ji. And then we have uh, a name, dynamic member who is recently elected for the first time to the Bangalore branch, uh, Mr. Uh, Madam, Madam Swarnalata, and I wish you, Madam, all the best, and I wish you to occupy all the all the positions in the institute, and of course the president also one day, and of course after uh, Mr. Pat completes, otherwise he will beat me. So now uh, with this, uh, I would like to share with you as I told you, this is Safa, and what do we do in Safa? Safa is an organization which has objective to cater to the needs of. The professional accounting institutes and professionals in the South region, we have 3,75 members and we are representing 3,75,000 in the region. Recently on 6th of March, I was in, I was in, uh, uh, 6th of February, uh, sorry, April, I was in Kathmandu for the meeting, I met the Secretary General of SARC, where we have conveyed our, uh, what we are doing and he has conveyed and asked us what we can do to develop the economies from this region as professional accountants, the economic regime to the tax regimes, comparing with these nations. And another important thing is that the institutes, the development institutes, the Institute of Child Accountants of India, for example, through SAPA, we help other countries to have the professional institutes. We have helped Nepal to have Child Accountants Institute. Otherwise, then they used to do CA, Indian CA, and then become members. Even today, they are doing several members are there. But they have independent body like the Institute of Child Accountants of Nepal. We have helped Afghanistan. Now, only few months ago, last year, they have got the full membership, membership in SAFA. We have helped them to uh, establish through their parliament procedures the Institute of Certified Public Accountants in Afghanistan. And then, similarly, we are now helping Bhutan and Maldives. And we have exchange of members, and we have particularly, I am telling you in brief, particularly the student programs. Every year we conduct programs for students of South region. Student or article article plus of all of you. You can send them. Last time in the SAFA annual board meeting, annual awards function, students have come, CA article students and CMA students, they have come from other countries, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Nepal, from India nobody has come. So we should should we not spend our send our students? we should send our students and then next time I would like to see our students also present there and I request all of you to send your article plus and students and of course the brand chair and also I'm requesting you can send them to and participate and, and be you mingle with them and have actually mingle with them students from various, various countries and participants, the churches have come all over the country even IFM president was there in a meeting, last board meeting 
So these are what we do there. We have annual awards like, you know, a best presented accounts in the South region, best presented accounts. And no company has come from Bangalore. And no companies have every, every actually participated from India. And several banks and institutions, public sector banks and institutions have come from Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, large number, 20, 30, a big delegation have come. And they are already participated and they have got, they are lagging behind that. We should also do, as President of SAP, I will be very happy to see our members, our organizations, companies and the students participate very actively. And I would like to congratulate the chairman for organizing a very great program today on the audit and the quality of audit. On this I would like to share two points and go back to my seat. Today, uh, I was instead like a member of the PAV committee of IFAC from our country. And there we were discussing about the quality. One of the very important things, in fact I have initiated this three years back, almost two and a half years back in the Dubai PAV committee meeting, professional skepticism. We are lagging in professional skepticism. Whatever you think in terms of Satyam Computer, Silent Affairs, PNB or ICICI, professionals, exercising professional skepticism makes a lot of difference. And I was suggesting there, including referring to one, sir, uh, 143 uh, subsection 12 of the Company Act. I was suggesting them we should have a professional skepticism separate standard that will help us improve our, our quality of audit and quality of performance as professional accountant and to share with you the IFAC and the uh, uh, concerned institutions they are bringing out a special standard on professional skepticism which will speak in terms of the quality audit and the performance as professional accountants and again today the world is changing the traditional auditing traditional accounting there is a huge change again today we are just not professional accountants as per the legislations to give you one example I, IBC, Insolvency and Bankruptcy Court, and the NCLT, National Company Tribunal. Under the National Company Tribunal, many things which have come, come from the High Court, we are now advocates, we are now legal practitioners. You go to the, as per our trust court we go, and argue for our clients in the NCLT, in terms of Bush and Steel, and the Tata Group of Companies. And the uh, senior most advocates, Supreme Court advocates have, have argued, in the NCL 18 and NCL, where all the standard accountants, fast accountants can go into it. What quality is expected over there? And we need to address those issues, not only traditional issues, are it and audit quality. New challenges, new opportunities, obviously quality. That makes all the difference. And then, uh, wherever think in terms of today's change in the whole world, and we have a very great provision in the company set in India, section 134, subsection 5. I am basically a company secretary, okay? So I keep quoting sections. 135 subsection 5, class Z and class F. All of you are aware of this section. All of you are aware of this section. If you are aware, I will not quote. Shall I tell you? Section 134 subsection 5, E and class E and F, they speak about finance, internal financial control systems and the, the internal legal control systems. And think in terms of audit. And then, is it the responsibility of the audit to directly or indirectly to see that compliances have taken place or not, that the board constitution is proper or not, audit committee is properly placed or not, independent audit is placed or not, auditor's appointment is proper or not, cost auditor, secretarial auditor, incorporation of the company, IPOs, FPOs, FPOs. If you think that, if we think that compliance also is part of our audit directly or indirectly, then we need to know Obviously, quality depends a lot on the base of compliance. The whole corporate governance, one of the important factors is compliance. And then auditor, chapter accountant, cost accountant, company secretary, indispensable parts in the context of corporate governance. And last point which I would like to share with you is how many legislations a manufacturing company will have to comply with in India to have quality from the tangle to check whether complied or not. How many legislations I may tell you my question. How many legislations a manufacturing company will have to comply with to carry on that company's airlines industries? Any manufacturing company, example. How many legislations? Yes, any guess? It is 20. 20 legislations. 20 plus. Anything else? Any other number? Income Tax Act, Company Act 1956, Company Act 2013, FEMA. And then labor legislations and uh, environmental legislations 
and uh, the government looked up your shops after an establishment, municipal corporation said, do you, do you, do you convert to 20 or look like the increase? 32. Our friend has mentioned 32, madam. She will mention it at the end. Okay, now, I was doing a research paper writing in 1993 for a presentation when I was the regional council of the Institute of Some Researchers of India. I counted 145 registrations. 145 registrations. Where quality depends a lot on the companies. Our audit company. Unless and until we we'll find out the non compliance directly and directly. Finance part of it is more, but at the same time, this also. Keep in mind that that type of the mind companies, which is very important. Enron could not have happened. Volcom could not have happened. So, Satya could not have happened. 7,000 crore fudging of accounts. So, but these, these things are interesting, very essential for compliance. And when I say 135 registrations, is it only 135 compliances or more than that or less than that? Yes, sir. Is more or more than that or less than that? More than that. You take example any legislation, Companies Act uh, uh, 1956. How many sections we have in Companies Act 1956? 600 plus. plus. We are an auditor. Exact number we should quote. 658. Correct. We do a big lab. 658 sections we have in Companies Act. It means 658 compliances. Yes or no? How many? Less or more? How many more? Our own good friend, 274-1G. Are you aware of 274-1G? Not aware? We should go home and read that if we have not read that. All of us have read, we might have not, you know, that uh, entice recently. Two lakh companies have been struck off. Three thousand directors have been made huh, disqualified. Where is the quality of our checking? Because you are CSCM and CA. Three lakh companies have been Three large directors have been, one of the, even sensex study company director has been in that. These are the questions before that, times are changing. So whenever you think in terms of, compliance is not only, even if you say 658 section, is compliance 658 or more than that? 274, 274 is only one section. One is subsection, G is a class, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, that many compliances. In that one, I think 11 subsections are there in 274. So one section into 11 into 9, how many? In main one section 274. Like that, you multiply for these 658 sections and 260 as objections in income tax act. All the things together, how many compliances we have to make? Is it not our responsibility? Directly or indirectly. And a, a professional accountant today, not only in the audit, you are also a different director, you are also a finance director. Look at different in the company. If a guy, friend, philosopher, a professional accountant, be a corporate body or a practitioner in your practice. To share with you before I start, I heard from one of the former registrar of companies that 135 legislations which I said was wrong, he said 1009 legislations. So 1009 legislations and compliance of so many things, where do they go? How do you go? How do you check that? Section 134, subsection 5, clause F. You read it later, then you have time if you like to read it. You will understand what we have to do. Ensure the quality of that part, compliance of that section as auditor. You are through the compliances, part of the quality, part of the audit. I have a lot to share with you. I have uh, uh, unexpectedly come here and we are all eagerly looking towards our uh, chief, I mean, the guest of honor to talk on the subject. And thank you, sir, for giving me this opportunity. And I wish you all the best. Before that, I would like to quote. Because our chairman has quoted one sloka, so I am also tempted to quote one sloka from the Bhagavad Gita. It's only knowledge that makes all the difference in the whole world wherever you are. Whether it is, uh, uh, you know, that, uh, what is that? Uh, 19, 1983, 175, not out. Who is that? Brought the world cup. Kapil Dev, knowledge. Wherever you think, any successful person, Knowledge is essential, including for our quality of auditor, <coughs> professional accountants. Say on Dravimaya Dekna, Jnana Yatnya Padantapa, Sarvam Karma Kilam Vartha, Jnana Yatnya Samapitik, Stressed to Arjuna. When Arjuna asks him, what makes difference from that of highly achieved person and not so highly achieved person, he says, knowledge. Say on Dravimaya Dekna, Jnana Yatnya Padantapa, 
सर्वम कर्मादिना भाता ज्ञाने प्रसिद्धे सर्वम कर्मा लह भाता ज्ञाने इन द नॉलेज पर समाप्त दे एंड्स सो वी शुड एक्वायर दैट नॉलेज दिस काइंड्स ऑफ प्रोग्राम्स सीबी प्रोग्राम्स विल हेल्प यू टू एक्वायर दैट नॉलेज एन आई वुड टू कंग्रेचुलेट चेयरमैन फॉर ऑर्गेनाइजिंग दिस प्रोग्राम एंड वी शुड ऑल द बेस्ट गुड लक थैंक यू Really, most of us being in such a practice and uh, in this kind of field, we are not aware how many legislations we are supposed to comply with. And now I got to it's one particular. So thank you for that observation. And um, we and this with this seriousness note on what sir shared with us, I think we'll be much more serious on the session of today. What Abdul Majid sir is going to take uh, us through today. With those inspiring words, we would like to, uh, on behalf of Bangalore Branch of Audience, would like to present a memento to our uh, chief guest as a token of honor and gratitude. Please accept. I request our uh, chairman sir to perform that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Privilege and honour for me to give a word of thanks to today's uh, chief guest, sir. Great, I mean, uh, uh, calling such a great personality for today's session. I thank uh, Dr. Vivek Jagannath for raising the occasion. I thank on behalf of Bangalore branch and. Uh,